I am very invested in Ayurvedic ingredients and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the secret to how they make effective hair growth oil using all Ayurvedic ingredients. If you want to make this for personal use and for sale that help promote hair growth, increase the blood flow on your scalp, help you retain length and also nourish your hair strands, this video is for you. welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in if you're tuning for the first time you're so welcome please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so guys today's video i am going to be showing you guys how you can make not just any random hair growth oil but very effective hair growth oil i know feedback i get some people even ask me because what did you put in your oil so i'm going to be sharing with you guys basic things you need to know to know to create very effective hair growth oil that is going to do what it's supposed to do and when it comes to making ayurvedic oil there are a lot of things you guys need to know especially if you want to sell this oil and before i put it out there this oil is made with ayurvedic ingredients purely natural but there are different kind of hair growth oil they are Ayurvedic based hair growth oil and there are ones that are not Ayurvedic based hair growth oil but for me I am more invested in Ayurvedic ingredients when you want to make Ayurvedic hair growth oil the first thing you want to do is sort for your oil sort for your oil the first thing you want to do is sort for your base which is your oil the ingredients don't bring out oil so you need like a base like oil before you sort for your ingredients so what I use is I use five type of oil I use olive oil coconut oil avocado oil sunflower oil Argan oil these are my base and sometimes I use shea oil or sunflower oil depending on how I want to mix it so what I want to say is don't forget that there are different hair porosity that porosity hair and people with high porosity and people with normal porosity so the best thing you can do because most times customers don't tell you their hair porosity so you want to make sure you mix this oil don't use only lightweight oil don't use only heavyweight oil heavyweight oil are very good for people with high porosity hair people like me don't use lightweight oil don't use only lightweight oil or only heavyweight or only heavyweight oil we have lightweight oil like sunflower oils argan oil then we have a uh, heavyweight oil like coconut oil is heavy even olive oil is heavy so you want to make sure there's a mixture you might not be able to use my combination of oil but make sure when you're sorting out your oil make sure that you have lightweight oil and heavyweight oil mixed together if you use only heavyweight oil it's not going to work perfectly well for people with low porosity if you use only lightweight oil it's not going to work for people like me with high porosity so the best you want to do is mix them together the same quantity so you get like a medium uh, a medium uh, weight oil it's not too heavy it's not too light so the best thing you can do when creating hair growth oil is make sure your oil is not too heavy or neither is it too lightweight so i can work for both so the second thing you want to do is make sure that your oil is infused for a long time for like a week that's like seven days let me show you guys the one i'm currently infusing so guys this is what the oil i have been infusing for a while look like this is over like a little bit over a week that's why i said if you want to really make your hair growth oil very potent you have to infuse it the longer it stays the more it extracts out all the nutrients from the herbs so these are for my girlies that love high vedic ingredients like myself I do not have anything against or store broad product i still use sober product but i am more invested in ayurvedic product and ayurvedic ingredients like i am doing right now so if you want to sell this oil you want to make sure you infuse them way before you bottle them you can even infuse them for as long as two weeks before you bottle them so after infusing them the next thing i do is i strain it out this is another point you don't want to miss out guys don't worry in my next video i'm going to be showing you guys from the beginning of how I put in my ingredients and even in this video I'm going to be showing you guys all the ingredients that I use you just calm down and watch I prefer to use this particular cloth it helps strain out every single residue out of my oil this is a very popular cloth here in Nigeria they use it for Akam if you don't know this is the same cloth they use for pap it helps to strain out every single residue and this is what our oil look like guys this is the oil that my customer are always drilling about and secondly one thing about this oil is that it can stay like this for a very long time without any preservative all you have to do is you can add in your vitamin e or your essential oil you guys can see how i am adding my own essential oil essential oil are very very good for the scalp so you so you can just go ahead and drop in as much essential oil as you can i add in my tea tree oil a rose hip oil a peppermint essential oil all my essential oil goes straight into this oil and all this oil are available on my business page on instagram at nappy ng i'm going to be putting the link in my description box 
so this is how i make my fast selling uh very effective ayurvedic hair growth oil and again i also want to mention that you can leave this in your jar for like two days before you package it this can be made for sale or for personal use and guys you are definitely going to enjoy using this oil this oil is infused with over 12 ingredients which i'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video so at this point another thing that I, I like to do is after packaging it i also like to put in some herbs into my oil just so it can continue to infuse so guys that is how i'm making my hair growth oil that i've been selling out so fast the kind of reviews i get on this hair growth oil is on match like that's why i decided to share with you guys just in case because i get a lot of people outside nigeria wanting to like buy from me because of the shipping fee, it can be so high sometimes. But I'm working on having my own website where you guys can shop directly. Maybe in, in one of my next videos, I am going to show you guys how you can prep your Ayurvedic herbs. Because it's not, it's not all Ayurvedic ingredients that you can use in a certain way. And again, is that if you're selling product like this, I do not advise to use fresh ingredients. Because it's going to require you adding preservative oil but if that's the one you want to do fine but me i prefer to use dry ingredients all i have to do to get out all the ingredients is infuse it for long on that particular video i am going to show you guys all the ingredients how i apply them how i put them how i dry each one and you guys are going to see everything with this you'll be able to make very very effective hair growth oil wow. you're trying to use it and see results and when it comes to hair growth oil hair growth oil are used in different way you can apply it directly to your scalp your hair strand or even add it to your other product i use for your hair yes, guys please ignore ignore any sound i'm filming with my phone so that means uh it's going to pick up any sound so let me go ahead and share with you guys some of my favorite top ingredients that i use for my hair growth oil and my other product i use moringa powder mint leaf hibiscus flower fenugreek rose petals uh, peppermint leaf rosemary basil leaf sage leaf amla powder clove fennel seed lavender bog and black and seed last point is that some of these ingredients you need to dry you need to fry dry fries if that makes sense you know how you you fry something not like fry fry the actual sense of frying you just dry it up a bit in your fry pan so that it can be crisp for you to be able to smash them for example hibiscus powder after they dry up if i just squash like this you guys can see it's not it's not breaking but when you dry them you do this it's just going to squash into pieces so with this you can easily infuse it into your oil so for those that follow me on my business page and also watch from youtube this is how i made that hair growth oil yeah i'll be screaming and asking me what is in this oil somebody actually sent me a message asking me that i'm whatever you put in this oil don't ever stop putting it obviously we all have secret to our ingredients and secret to our product that you know but with this that you know right now believe me you can make a very good effective hair growth oil and that's all for this video that's all i have in this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys